gypsies welcome back to my channel and happy dollar general haul day so i'm actually i just left dollar general had to come to the parent pickup line to wait for jack i found some cute things in there so i thought i'd just sit here do a quick dollar general haul and let that be it but i noticed my lipstick's about gone and i've been carrying something that i found at walmart that i had been looking for on my wish list um so i'm gonna show y'all that and i'm gonna apply a little bit of it um so these are the cover girl yummy look at this look at this one like it's the cover girl yummy and it's the clean fresh yummy gloss is what it's called so these are basically just glosses um so I, this color just got me because it looks like uh, maraschino cherry like right out of the jar or something um the colors let me, let me find the color so i can tell y'all in case you're interested let me get my glasses on but you know i can't do no haul without any lipstick on or lip gloss at least so um oh really is there no cute okay here we go wait okay It's that word I hate to pronounce. Acai you later is the color of that one. I probably said that all wrong. I usually do. Um, and then this fabulous one is straw booty. Okay, instead of strawberry, straw booty. So which one should I try? This one's just so fabulous. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Um, but yeah, it's the cover girl. Yummy glosses so let's just do this see what they look like and i gotta smell oh it's a little oh look at that yeah it's a nice applicator all right guys let me get some on <clears throat> no it's gonna help much it's basically just gonna give me a it tastes fabulous it's basically just gonna give me a gloss so i'm gonna put a little bit of the other one on top just to see if it gives me more color because it's a dark darker gloss and i don't feel like i tried to do too much with myself today so um yeah hold on come here jeez willikers that one opened a lot easier hopefully it hadn't already been used right ah, okay hold on bear with should have it now Urgh. oh my god what okay poof that took every bit of strength i had okay there's what that looks like yeah these are basically gloss so obviously i saw them on tiktok and i'm like i had to have them but they are mainly gloss not a lot of color so if you're somebody that don't like a lot of color i think it's going to be fab but i'm going to have to use these like over top of color let me just say because i like a lot of color that's just how i roll um i got my little fake nose ring in today i thought i'd give it a whirl okay guys um let me see hold on let me get the non-boro bag there's a couple of boro items up in here because i wasn't even planning on doing a haul then I'm like, I don't have a haul for today or any type of video. So why not? Why not do one? Oh, like why? Okay. All right, guys. So I found some cute little um, Valentine stuff. Um, I grabbed a couple of the Glade. And if any of you guys know what the crap is going on with Glade right now, please let me know because I it's it was almost sold out at Dollar General. Dollar Tree has no Glade walmart has no glade and i heard that the price of glade is going up this was a dollar thank goodness so i did grab a couple hawaiian breeze which my hubby hates this in the bathroom which i love hawaiian breeze and then aqua waves yeah aqua waves so i went ahead and grabbed a couple i don't know like what the deal is with glade i even tried to look it up but i couldn't find anything so if you guys know anything let me know um, and then I got, got these in their dollar section. They have the Clarice makeup remover wipes. Does this not look like a dupe for Neutrogena? Neutrogena? Tell me right now. Dupe for Neutrogena, totally. 
I like the Clarice wipes. Let me give it a whirl. I think I bought these before at the Dollar Tree. Um, I haven't seen them in a while. Yes, they smell good. I remember them smelling good. Um, and they work really good too as far as getting your makeup off, especially if you use like waterproof mascara or stuff like that. They work really good for that. You get 30 wipes in here, which I feel like 30 wipes is like average. So yeah. And then I got me another gloss. Check this out. I forgot or else I would have done this one, which I'm still doing this one. This is an LA Colors Holographic iridescent lip gloss and that color i just think is gorgeous holographic iridescent lip gloss and that was easier to open but i do feel the the little thing on here so i'm sure it hasn't been opened before get that off of there let me just add a little of this on top they also had lip plumping from la colors i mean i like a good iridescent you know very nice and and you know it, it doesn't taste nasty or anything like that so it, ha it has a good feel to it i know you can't really tell because all of these are like non-existent colors i don't know what i was thinking okay guys let me show y'all a product i cannot live without let me just say i can't live without this anymore um i used to be against melat melatonin because I felt like it would make me dream even crazier than I dream. Like I dream all night, every single night. Like every time I go to sleep, it's on to a new adventure. And I'm, I'm not even lying all night, every night. Um, so I'm like, what really can it hurt? You know, because the dreams can't really get much crazier. So this is my second bottle of these. I take it 15 minutes before I'm ready to roll over and go to sleep. And let me just say in 10 minutes, like 10 minutes, I feel it hit me and it makes me fall asleep so much easier. And this brand right here is the kind that I started using. I don't know how the other brands are, but I love it. It's the Natural Melatonin Advanced Sleep 10 milligrams, guys. You get 30 in here, enough for a month, basically. Um, and these are absolutely phenomenal. If you have any trouble sleeping, grab those give them a whirl one a night no more um and also like the next day i would be afraid i would wake up groggy no none nada i always wake up feeling refreshed and wonderful so that has made a big change in my life and i've, I've been wanting to pass that little bit of tidbit of information on to you guys in case y'all don't know about melatonin and how wonderful it is and i I think it's non-habit forming, so that's always a good thing. Okay, let me show y'all a couple of the cute little items that I found for Valentine's Day. Um, I think everything I got was a dollar. Like, they had some other cute things that were more than a dollar, but, you know, I'm all about the dollar. So, they had this right here. Look at the beads. This right here, it's a little gnome. He's like, whoop. He says, be my Valentine. And I just love the bright colors. He is metal. So, Be My Valentine for a dollar. Super cute. This stuff would make such a cute gift basket for someone. And then they have these right here for a dollar each. And you know how I am with beads. If it has beads on it, I'm definitely going to go for it. So, Kiss Me and... Well, let me just hold this still. Be Mine. And I love that this one is, is in a pretty teal color. And then the Kiss Me is the pink and white which is so traditional for valentine's day so what a cute little thing that'd be such a cute little basket maybe i'll put together a little basket to give to someone special and then they have these so these are little blocks and it has a like you would hang it but i guess you could hang it like this but basically let me get this situated how it would look okay you see that love and I love the blocks, the solid wood blocks, the red beads, and they are just super nice. So I grabbed one of those, and then they had this kind here, which let me get this one situated. It's like the little XOXO. How cute are these? And these are all a dollar. And then they had a cute little pink one as well that says hugs and i love that it has like the teal blocks on it there we go 
hugs. How cute is that for Valentine's Day? I'm not even kidding. And then, I don't know, I might possibly have something else in here. I'm not sure. I thought I had one more item, but I'm pretty sure I do. Um, anyway, I grabbed this right here, and this is a LA Colors Concealer, and it's called Conceal It, and it is in the color light, which I need as far as a concealer goes. But, like, I've been using the same concealer for about three years, and I'm getting kind of mad at it. I don't know. I just feel like I just want, okay, what is this? I don't know how I feel about this. I was, I don't know if this lid just broke. Or, okay, this is what it looks like. Oh, that's okay. Duh. Sometimes I'm such a moron. I guess you, oh, 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 okay. You squeeze it and it comes up through the little brush. I was hoping it was like you pull it out. But anyway, let's just see the color. I'm just wondering like how good it's going to be under the eye because that's the main area I use concealer. I think it's going to be really good. Let me see if I can cover up some of that vein. You see that vein? Let's try to cover some of that up. I mean, just imagine if that was a dark, a dark spot under your eye or if your eye was dark. Yes, ma'am. Covered it up. So, okay. This was only like $2.35 or something like that. So that's a really good deal. Dollar Tree has a lot of really good deals on some makeup. So I'm always excited to go up in there. Um, I have been looking for a new TP. Okay. Just throw it all out there. Dollar Tree TP has just been losing, losing me here lately. So I don't want to buy it from them no more. So I know I'm in the parent pickup line. When I hold up this TP, these people are going to think I'm crazy. Although I'm pretty sure they already do. Um... Boom. Okay. So it's a six pack for a dollar, which is the Dollar Tree price used to be, you know, I bought that before. It's very comparable to what it was before Dollar Tree changed their, whatever they did to that poor TP. Um, but I'm going to try this out and I'm hoping, uh, this may be where I just start buying my TP. I just don't go to Dollar General a ton. So I guess that's why I don't just get it from there in general. So yeah. And then um, I'm making, okay, so this, this, this is kind of funny. Where my hubby works, somebody came in to get dry ice because they are a hunter. I don't, I don't know if they're, if they're legal. I don't know. Um, but they had a bunch of meat patties where they had had some kind of animal, mystery animal, you know, done up. And all kinds of meat patties already separated and stuff like that. There's like four to a pack. And they gave um, the shop where my hubby works two packs of four, which feels like about one and a half to two pounds of meat. Um, so I asked my hubby, what is this? Because it looks darker and gamier. So I don't know if it's like deer burger, bison burger, bear burger. I have no clue. And he doesn't either. He's like, I don't know. We forgot to ask. So I'm like, wow. Okay. So this evening for dinner, I'm going to make a vegetable soup instead of patty, you know, patties. I just want to integrate that beef or that meat, should I say, with something else that's going to kind of all flavors go together, sort of. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know because I, I, I will be able to tell if it's beef. It could be beef. It could be like an Angus burger or something. It's definitely a darker color than I'm used to seeing meat. And deer is a darker color. You know, so I have no idea what it is. And it's kind of freaking me out. But hey, um, anyway, I went in Dollar General to, to get like veggies um, and stuff. And I found these. For a dollar a bag. These are the bird's eye steam fresh veggies for a dollar a bag. This is a killer deal, I feel like. It's a 10 ounce bag and it has like all the veggies, you know, that I really am going to need. Well, no, it has green beans, peas, carrots, and corn, which is a big, you know, a big amount of things that we need in, in that. So I got three bags of these and I'm like, that should be plenty. But then I got some more stuff I'm going to show y'all. Um, and then I always use tomato juice with my, so I got that tomato juice at Vine Ripe Tomato Juice, I guess Dollar General, one of Dollar General's brands. I was just super glad to find it because I did not want to go in Walmart, if you know what I mean. Like, no, I don't want to go in Walmart. 
And then I also grab two cans of the Clover Valley diced tomatoes and one of the Clover, oh no, this is good and smart, whole kernel corn. And then I got a Clover Valley sliced potato. So that is going to be my wonderful veggie soup, which I am thrilled about. So there's that. And then the only other thing, I guess I didn't get anything else Valentine's Day-ish. The only other thing that I have, oh no, I have one, two more things. Number one is this right here. This is the, this was in, like Dollar General has an aisle of stuff that's like all a dollar. Um, I always love to go up that aisle because you always find some kind of treasure of some sort up that aisle. Or you always see something that you know that you need. So yeah, I always go up that aisle. Um, this is the power powerhouse brand it's a liquid fabric fa oh, liquid fabric softener yeah liquid fabric softener this is in the scent lavender burst so i love the color of the container but i smelled it in there because if i you know you can open the stuff and smell it if it didn't smell good i wasn't going to get it but let me just say i feel like taking a drink it smells amazing speaking of taking a drink I did grab one of these. This is the Body Armor Light um, Dragon Fruit Berry. I had to try it just to see how it was. Let me just say, if you've not tried this, it's really good. I like the fact, fact that it's light. Sometimes I like to have something a little bit different. The whole bottle has 20 calories. I'm not looking at the sugars right now because I'm just not sure. But I'm just not sure how I feel about sugars right now. So. There's that. And last but not least, we're not going to look at the sugars on this either. This is a Russell Stover Heart Caramel. And I'm like, give me that. I need that right now. So this is going to be, for as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to pop it in and eat it. So anyway, guys, I just had to share that stuff with y'all. Um, just because I didn't have anything better to do, let me know what your favorite item was. Let me just once again reiterate if you have trouble sleeping, give it a whirl. I am, it was $7 and something for a month's supply, though. For a month's worth of good sleep, it's totally worth it. Um, I love these. They also have gummies. The only reason why I switched and don't do the gummies anymore was because I had uh, been doing intermittent fasting a lot. So I didn't want to eat after a certain time. So that is exactly why. But anyway, I grabbed those. Uh, or I already showed you that. <laughs> okay, guys, that's my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite item was. Don't forget, if you um, have not subscribed, don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you're still, if you're interested, you know. Also, if you have not downloaded the Fetch app, guys, here's my receipt. Um, what are you waiting for? Seriously, get you a Ulta gift card and go have some fun. Go do some damage up in Ulta or Dunkin' Donuts or Walmart or Amazon, or wherever, Starbucks, there's tons, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, Flower, the Flower Place, I can't remember the name of it, um, but there's tons and tons and tons of gift cards, um, and it's really easy to use, it's so easy, like if you have a mobile phone, download that app, when you're signing up, it'll ask for a referral code, that's where I come in, or you can probably click on my link, and it'll take you right there to download it, and automatically, my referral code will go in for you guys. Right now, you're getting in between 2,000 and 4,000 points when you sign up, so that's a really good deal. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here and eat this before Jack comes out, because I didn't get her one. I just got me one. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye!